Hey everyone, welcome to the top 10 list. Welcome to my top 10 most overrated celebrities. Yes. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm gonna probably get hate for this. Uh, because I'm talking about just, you know, some people just love certain celebrities and everything. And I just think of them as just, they're just people and stuff. And uh, some of them I just, I don't understand how they got famous. And sometimes I understand how they got famous, but I don't know why they're still famous. <laughs> and I just don't know, some... <clears throat> celebrities to me they just get overhyped and i just, i don't understand why so many people love them and some some of it some of it's just personal like i just don't personally like them i understand why people like them i just don't personally like them and i find them overrated and stuff and when i talk about stuff like this people get a little you know heated and stuff but who gives a fuck anyways <laughs> these are just celebrities i find overrated and if you guys like it i'm gonna be doing an underrated celebrities too so celebrities that i think should get a little more praise than that they're getting right now but uh anyways let's get to it. these are top 10 overrated celebrities in my opinion number 10 jennifer lawrence i used to love jennifer lawrence uh when she started out in winter's bone and silver Lang's playbook i was a big jennifer lawrence fan i i, I thought like this is a real talent and stuff but then she starts. She started sucking. Like uh, when she started doing movies like Mother and Passengers, and kept doing these X Men movies, and she just sucked in all of them. And then she had to get weirdly political in some ways, and just I don't know. She just she never she never comes off genuine when she like promotes a movie or gets interviewed and stuff. And just everything about her f seems fake and phony. Just, I don't know. Just, I don't like anything about Jennifer Lawrence right now. Like. Almost 10 years ago, I thought she was awesome. I thought she was like, oh, she's going to be, like, one of the biggest hit actresses ever and stuff. Cause I, I even like the Hunger Games movies, and I'm just like, yes, she's awesome. Now, can't stand her. <laughs> so, yeah, Jennifer Lawrence. Number nine, Billie Eilish. Uh, some people like her mu Some people like her music. I don't. I don't think she's that great of a singer. I don't even like her new Bond song. Like, I don't think it's that great. Don't understand the Billie Eilish hype. Uh... I'm with Simon Cowell. I think she's a very under underwhelming performer and a mediocre singer. There are a lot of better singers out there. Definitely uh, Billie Eilish ain't on the top of my list in Spotify. But, uh, yes, I can get political with her, too. But let's not. Uh, just her as a singer, don't think she's that talented. Uh, I think her personality is also a little hard to take, too. And she's very, uh, like, opinionated and stuff. And... If you don't agree with her, she thinks you're an asshole or a piece of shit. So, can't really get on that. So, yeah, not a Billie Eilish fan. Number eight, Drake. Uh, I know it's blasphemy because I'm Canadian. I should love Drake. Uh, this is not a personal thing. I'm just not a Drake fan. That's really it. I just don't think his music's that great. I don't think I have liked a single Drake song. That's really it. I have nothing against him personally, actually. Uh... I just don't think he's that great of a singer for me. I just don't like his music. Uh, and I know he's a big hit singer. People love Drake, and that's great. And I know that's very, like, again, blasphemy for me to say because I'm Canadian. Because all fucking Canadians love Drake, but not a Drake fan. Don't like him. Number seven, Melissa McCarthy. Uh, just recently, mostly, because... In the beginning, I liked Miss Melissa McCarthy. I liked her in Gilmore Girls, and when she started out in Bridesmaids, I really enjoyed Melissa McCarthy. Now, she's almost becoming a joke. And I know she's trying to be funny, but we're not laughing with her. We're almost laughing at her, because we're laughing at the fact that she still has a career. And she's just not that funny. She's just irritating, and she's annoying, and every movie she makes, it's almost a headache to watch it now. Just... Kind of getting sick of Melissa McCarthy, so I think a lot of people are with me on that one too. So yeah, Melissa McCarthy, not so not so much on my like list. Number six, Tiffany Haddish. Tiffany Haddish also kind of like Melissa McCarthy started off in pretty good. Like she did Girl Strip, she was funny in that. After that, nothing really else like hit me with her. Ella, she's just got this very obnoxious voice, and she's just very loud, you know, very, you know, sassy and everything. I don't know. It's, like, it's just not my thing. I just, a lot of people love her. And ever since Girl Strip, she is just being in, like, every movie now. She is in so many movies. And I even, like, just recently watched a movie with her and Billy Crystal. Didn't like the movie that much. But just, I don't understand the love for Tiffany Haddish. I just, I don't think she's 
all that talented and even really that funny. So, I don't know. <laughs> Number five it hurts. It hurts me to say this one. It really does. I gotta say it. It's, it's Emma Watson. It, it hurts because I love Harry Potter so much and I love Hermione Granger. I love her as Hermione Granger. It's after Harry Potter, she just got like annoying and just didn't really get that interesting and not even that great of an actress. Like, I really, really hated her in Beauty and the Beats. Be, be, blah, I really hated her in Beauty and the Beast. I just, I did not like that performance. And she really defended that. <laughs> and I didn't like her in like other indie films. Like, she did that other one with uh, Ethan Hawke, which I hated. And she did um, The Bling Ring and a couple other films. Just didn't like her. She was okay in person being Wallflower. She wasn't the best of that movie, but she was pretty good. But I just, her political stance gets very obnoxious, too. Very opinionated person. And I don't know. I just, I just thought after um, Harry Potter, uh, Emma Watson would just, just kill it and crush it and just do a lot of great films. She is just so disappointed in me lately. Uh, Daniel Radcliffe, on the other hand, he's doing great stuff. Uh, he doesn't always do great movies, but I really like the direction he's gone in his career and everything. But Emma Watson, just, oh, I almost can't stand her now. So, yeah, she's a bit overrated for me. Number four. This is another big one. Madonna. Not a Madonna fan. Like, <laughs> I know a lot of people love her. Uh, I like Vogue. That's a good song. About it. That's I'm not a huge Madonna fan. I was never into her music or even interacting <laughs> when we're swept away. Uh, I just never really was a fan. Uh, I don't know what she's like as a person. She seems a little weird, but probably a nice person, but she's not a huge Madonna fan. Uh, my mom listened to a little bit of Madonna. Never found her voice all that great or never found her tunes all that catchy, so she's not a Madonna fan. Number three, Taylor Swift. Just can't can't stand her. Everything about Taylor Swift cannot stand her. Not one thing I like about her. <laughs> if I get into her political thing, can't stand her and get into her like man hating, bamble, sh babbling shit, uh, annoying. Her music can't stand her music. I don't like almost any of her songs. She did like that Netflix documentary. Watched that whole thing. It was absolute trash. Everything she does, she tried to do acting. She was bad at that. Everything. Terrible. Just absolutely terrible. Can't stand a single thing Taylor Swift does. I know a lot of people are T-Swift fans. That's cool and all, but personally, just, just can't stand her. Cannot stand her. Number two, Brie Larson. <laughs> Very easy. Uh, everything about I said about uh, Taylor Swift, I say about Brie Larson. Uh, can't stand her political ideologies, her forced feminism, and her wokeism. I never liked her as Captain Marvel. I liked her in Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. I really wish she just did more stuff like that. She was even a pretty good singer in that movie. I know she's got a YouTube channel. People love her on her YouTube channel. I, she's not even that good of a YouTuber. Like I don't know. She's just very cringy to me. Can't stand her. Uh, yeah. Let's skip her now. Uh, number one. Number one is every single late night talk show host. Maybe with the except with the exception of uh, Conan O'Brien. I like Conan O'Brien, but we're talking mostly Jimmy Kimmel, Jimmy Fallon, Trevor Noah, Seth Meyers, James Corden, Lily Singh. Those ones. Even Ellen DeGeneres. She's not late night show, but let's just go talk show hosts. Ellen DeGeneres. The whole cast, the views, a lot of them. The talk. Just. Most talk show hosts, I can't stand any of them. <laughs> uh, I don't think any of them are funny. I don't think any of them talk about anything that's really relevant. I don't think any of them show any answer of respect to some people. They're phony as hell, mostly Corden and Fallon. It's one of the most disingenuous people. Uh, very corny, very fake. A lot of them are fake as hell, and they throw their beliefs at you. If you don't believe what they believe, they shun you and make fun of you and say you're this and that and ugh. Like, the only talk show else I, I guess I like is Conan O'Brien because he keeps his opinion to himself. I like Bill Maher, even though, like, I don't agree with everything he says, but I 
I respect his ideologies and he respects other people's ideologies and stuff, but these talk show hosts are just, these other talk show hosts are just like some of the phoniest people ever. Just every time I watch them, just anytime they're talking to other celebrities, it's just them patting themselves on the back and say, hey, I'm a good person. Hey, I'm just like you guys, except I go home to a billion dollar house. We're awesome. <laughs> like, and then they throw down their political views and just like, you know, believe what we believe, believe this and that and that. If you like this person, you trash and stuff like that. Just ugh. And they're not funny. Just that's the most important thing. They're not funny. Especially Fallon and Kimmel and Corden. They are super unfunny people. Their opening monologues are always painful. Seth Meyers is pretty unfunny too. And just, they're not funny. They're not enjoyable. And you will get no education or any intrigue watching any of their shows. I know a lot of people love talk show hosts. That's that's cool and all, but personally, can't stand most of them. There are exceptions to the rule, but most of them can't stand. Most of them are very overrated celebrities for me. So yeah, that was my top 10 most overrated celebrities in my opinion. So in the comments section below, please tell me what do you guys think are the top 10 or just want to give one... Who you think is a very overrated celebrity getting too much praise more than they should. So yeah, give me lots of opinions, comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like this video, please subscribe to the channel and join the downside.